how when in like it just came it easy um, what job i'm gonna achieve what i do want me to share see dean hello everyone welcome to it just came it easy my name is monachi my chinese name is xiao dean i'm so excited to see you guys once again i believe the previous video was of help to you um so if the video was actually of help to you please i want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel like the video comment on it share the video with your friends tell them about hsk made easy yes um so that they can actually benefit from the video um so today we'll be looking at chapter two of the hsk standard textbook um, the last time we did we tweeted chapter we tweeted chapter one yes and today we, so we'll be looking at chapter two and the topic is, is the topic is say 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 that is thank you so we'll go straight to the the test test one test one looking at the picture on the picture you see um, a, a guy and a lady um, from the picture you can actually you can you can see that the guy is helping the lady to carry a very heavy load which she may not be able to carry herself so in Chinese when someone op offers help to you or when someone is of um, any kind of um, assistance to you, the word to say is say seni. Say seni. That is thank you. Or you can simply say say say. Um, that is thank you. And most times, what the reply is is busier. Busier means um, no need to thank. Doesn't matter. Because boo is boo in Chinese is these are two separate words. I see it's a two separate words. Boo and see. So you can see that the first word here is see see, and the second one is they took one see and merged it with boo. And boo in Chinese is not. So when you mind the two of them, it means no need to thank. No need to thank me. It doesn't matter. It's okay. So you can see from the new West. Say uh, say is to thank you. It's to thank it's thank you. Boo is not. So so no need to thank doesn't matter you're welcome you can say when someone says say say me just say Bruce that will be fine so you can you can repeat with me the first one is mr. a um, okay the lady should be um, a and the guy is B so the lady said say say and the guy replied Bousse. so that oh so when someone offers help to you he said say say and the can, the person can reply Bousse. so we go over to sharp to go over to test two test two still say say so um from the picture you can see a young lady and an older woman the woman is okay the lady is giving something to the the old woman so um, just like the first test when someone offers help like I said what you should say is say, say. 
So the old woman said, see, see me. And the young lady said, Bukochi. Bukochi is, um, don't worry, it's okay. Don't mention it, you are welcome. So, you can, when someone does something for you, you can also say, see, see me. And you can also reply, Bukochi. So you can you can use these two phrases seseni bukochi. You can repeat seseni bukochi. So hope is not complicated and hope is very easy. All you have to do just to repeat it, say it often times listen to your audio just like i told you earlier in that way you can be able to get used to it so we go over to test three looking at the picture um you can see a young girl probably um she's moving out and Um, she's bidding goodbye to someone so um, the way to say goodbye in Chinese is Tai Dian actually what the word means is is two separate words the first one is Tai and Tai is in Chinese Tai is again and the other one the Dian Dian in Chinese is um, to see so in Chinese, when you want to say goodbye, you say Tai Dian. That means Tai is again and Dian is C. So what it means in English is again C. I know it sounds somehow, but that's why I told you that the structure of Chinese is quite different from the structure of English. So Chinese so means again C. So Tai Dian means goodbye um, so that's it for today um, if you have any question you can put it down on the comment section I'll be going through it and uh, I'll attend to your questions accordingly um, so that's all for today all for today and I hope to see you guys next time. Um, chapter 3. So we'll be treating chapter 3 next time. So I still want to encourage you to do more of practice. Practice very well and listen to your audio. In that way you you'll be getting better. You'll be getting better. Yeah. So thank you very much for um watching my video subscribe and comment and share the video oh. so i can actually use the last words the last test three to address you and i hope you understand it so i'll be saying goodbye in chinese so i'll be saying tai <laughs> all right